I'm just going for a quick run. So, did you know that in 2018, the UK appointed a loneliness minister to repair fraying social ties within the public and build social cohesion? That's how much of an issue loneliness was in the UK. I released a video the other week all about embracing small talk and how to transform it into deeper conversation. What I didn't talk about enough though was the psychological benefits of small talk with strangers and why we find it hard to do. And that's what we'll focus on in this episode, along with some tips to help you get better at it. Small talk is defined as conversation about things that are not important, often between people who do not know each other well. I don't actually like this definition because it implies that small talk itself is inconsequential, but this is often not the case. In my previous video on small talk, I spoke about how the friends that we make during the course of our life start off as strangers and often we get to know them through just making small talk. But there's more to it than striving to make these long lasting friendships with people. Just having conversations with strangers on a regular basis has numerous benefits to our well being. You see, first we actually need to talk about this guy called Joe Coheen. He actually studied the importance of talking to strangers and then he ended up writing this book called The Power of Strangers. In his book, he describes how research is now looking into the scientific benefits of actually talking with strangers. Several studies that have been conducted recruited participants to go onto trains or go to shopping malls and have conversations with people they didn't know. And the benefits from these interactions included improved happiness, feeling more connected, becoming mentally sharper, healthier, and more trustful and optimistic. However, researchers came across a problem that they were struggling to unpick. And the only way I can really do this justice to describe is if I actually read an extract from the book. From trains to cabs to airplanes to waiting rooms, strangers may sit millimeters apart while completely ignoring each other treating one another as objects rather than as sources of well-being. For a species that seems to benefit so much from connecting to others, why would people in close proximity so routinely seem to prefer isolation instead? Why are such highly social animals at times so distinctly unsocial? Then along came researcher Gillian Sandstrom and she had been researching small talk for a while. Then one day she had this light bulb moment. Maybe one of the reasons we don't talk to strangers is because we don't know how. To examine her hypothesis more thoroughly, Sandstorm started hosting these workshops in London where she began teaching strangers how to engage in small talk. And when she examined the data, she found that the key reasons that stopped strangers from talking to one another were the following. Workshop attendees worried that the other person wouldn't be interested in talking to them. They worried because they didn't have permission to do it. They worried that they wouldn't know how to end the conversation once it had begun. They also worried that they wouldn't enjoy it. And finally, they worried that once they started to talk, they would reveal too much about themselves too quickly. So there was credit to Sandstrom's hypothesis. When it comes to talking to strangers, we don't always know how to go about it, and we may have some genuine worries. 
So in this week's episode, I want to give you guys some conversational starter ideas. And all of these tips come from Joe who wrote the book. And he actually learned them when he attended one of Georgie Nightingale's workshops in London. Um, and I mentioned her in one of my previous episodes on Small Talk, so go and check that out. Um, and also go and check out her website, she's really cool um, and you'll learn a lot from her. So tip number one, when someone says, Hello, how are you today? Don't answer with a generic response, instead say something like this. Hey, yeah, you know what? I'm actually feeling like nine out of 10 today. Or you can answer that you're feeling a five out of 10 today. The point is this encourages you to be honest and it also allows your conversational partner to get curious and ask you a follow-up question like why? Tip number two, if you're the one that's initiating the small talk, say you see someone and you just wanna have a chat, then Sometimes it's good to start by acknowledging that what you're doing is, is kind of weird. It's not normal. So let's say maybe you're on the tube in London and you know that's one of the most socially weird places to be. You could start the conversation off with something like this. Hey, oh, sorry to interrupt. I know we're not supposed to talk on the tube, but that book that you're reading, it looks really interesting. You've kept it light. You've acknowledged that what you're doing is going against the social norm and you've given them the option to respond if they want to. Tip number three, when you're engaging in small talk itself, instead of asking the standard question like, hey, so what do you do for work? Ask them something like this. So what would you like to be doing more of with your time? Or you could try this. What would you like to be doing less of with your time? These questions allow you to get to the root of what that person is interested in quicker. And personally, I love it because you can learn so much from hearing about what someone is truly passionate about or what they're really interested in. And it's really cool to see someone else's excitement about something. So yeah, use these tips to get out there start connecting with strangers, diversify your social diet and you know also improve your well-being. I really hope this helps guys and I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!